Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to do this look right here. I'm sorry that I sound a little bit raspy. Um, I've been sick for the past two days. So this look is a little more um, soft glam for the girls out there that don't want too much on their face but still want to look glammed up for Valentine's Day. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to link everything that I put on today down below. Uh, please don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye! Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to start by using a moisturizer. It's really good to use a moisturizer when you go on a date with your significant other because it's going to keep your skin hydrated. So today I'm going to use um, Ultra Repair Cream by First Aid Beauty. And it's a really good moisturizer because it's really good with intense hydration just to keep your skin hydrated throughout your date. I also like to put cream down my neck just because that's one proven fact that women tend to age faster in their neck. So it's better to start earlier than late. Just saying guys. So next I'm going to be using my, my Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. This is really good for oily skin. I only tend to use it in the areas that I really need it where I tend to get a little bit more oily throughout the day. And then I like to use my MAC Studio Fix uh, Water Primer because it just applies the foundation a little bit better. So now I'm going to be using my Hourglass Foundation Stick. I saw in one of Jacqueline Tan's video that she tried this foundation and her skin looked amazing. So I was like, hey, I have to try this foundation to see how it will look on me. But also I'm going to be using my Morphe brush in the style G36. This is supposedly supposed to be for powder, but I wanted to try it for foundation. And so far, so good. I like it for um, foundation. So we're going to stick to foundation with this brush. Um, but yeah. So next I'm going to be using my Dip Brow from Anastasia in the color Caramel. I still have the same routine as always. And then I'm going to be using my concealer from MAC that I always use to clean up underneath just to sharpen them a little bit. And also I'm going to be using my Anastasia Clear Brow Gel just to keep my brows in place. So next I'm going to be using my concealer from MAC. 
and I used this as a primer just so the eyeshadow could hold on a little bit better. This is personally what works for me better so my eyeshadow will stay on a little bit longer. And since we're going on a date, I need to make sure that the eyeshadow does not move on me or crack on me. So next I'm going to be using the Too Faced Stardust Palette by Begis Nay. And I'm going to be using two specific colors from this palette. Uh, the names are Chandelier and Millennial. The first color is just a base that I'm going to be using. Just to set the concealer that I put on. And then the other color is going to be more of like a nude pink. And I'm going to put that all over the eye. So the two brushes that I'm using today for my eyes, the first one that I use for the first eyeshadow to set my concealer was from Morphe and it's in the style R37. And then the second one that I'm using for my all over the eye makeup is from MAC and it's in the style 221. These are my two favorite brushes because they do the job and I don't know I just feel like they really like work on blending the job just saying and you guys need these brushes they are amazing so now I'm going to be using my Tarte concealer, um, the Shape Tape concealer that recently came out. This concealer is a game changer because it does not crack on me. I have tried so many, so, so many concealers and this one is a game changer for me. Also, the brush that I'm using for my concealer today is from Sigma and it's a Preci Precision Flat in the style P80. So now I'm going to be using my Laura Mercier translucent powder just to set underneath my eye. Again, I don't know how to bake. Hopefully one day I learn so I can teach you guys. But at the moment, I just set my eyes and I'm good. So now I'm going to be using my Bobbi Brown pressed powder in the color Self Honey. I'm so sad I'm running low and I should really get a new one and really stop trying to dig into what I have in there. So next I'm going to be using my Big Bronzer Powder by Makeup Revolution. And the brush that I'm using is the MAC brush in the style 109. This is one of my favorite brushes because it really gets in your cheekbones and it does the job. Like, look at the flick of the wrist. <laughs> just kidding, guys. Just kidding. But it really does the job. This is one of my favorite brushes ever from MAC. So now I'm going to be using um, these lashes by Sophie Bella in the style of high class. Like look at them, they're so pretty and I am a sucker for lashes, like I can't live with the lashes every day. 
So the mascara that I'm using is by Too Faced and is one of my favorite mascaras at all time. Uh, it's called Better Than Sex Mascara. It's everything because it gives you a really nice volume. So next we're going to be using this eyeshadow by MAC and it's called Highly Charged. So we're going to be putting that all over under our lash line just to give it a little pop of color to the look. And the brush that I'm using is by Real Techniques Brushes and it's called the Detailer Brush. So now that we're done with the makeup, we're going to use our setting spray and wait a few minutes and then we're going to be using our highlighter. And the highlighter that I'm using today is by Anastasia and this was actually limited. I don't know if they even make this anymore and it's called So Hollywood. And it's one of my favorite highlighters because it has that gold pigmented to it. And I love that. I'm also going to put that highlighter in the corner of my eyes just to make my eyes pop a little bit more. And then next I'm going to go back with my Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara just to put some underneath in my bottom lashes. So last we're going to do our lips and I chose to do something not too dark or too glossy. I decided to do something soft. So I chose the Urban Decay Lip Liner in the color Deep. And the new liquid lipsticks that came out from Makeup Forever, I chose to use this color. It doesn't really have a name, it just has a number. It's 107. And is this light brown, light brown nude? Let's just call it that. Okay guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I just have to say, I hope you all have an amazing, wonderful Valentine's Day. Nothing with love for your significant other. And yeah guys, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!
Oh, oh.